Ladies and gentlemen, it is a cold, scary world out there, and here we stand, folks, al pie del cañón, ready for anything. Uh, I'm Rob Grams, that's Lady Boy, and you're listening to... The Bravo Show! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. Do not adjust your set. You are, in fact, joining us with The Probo Show. How are you doing? If you're ris- listening in Radio Land, it's currently 830 on this beautiful, beautiful morning um, on Vaughn Radio in Spain. If you're um, tuned into the show live, you're on twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian. That's bohemian professional, but in English. Um, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. It's um, currently 8 p.m. here in um, Central European time, two in the afternoon, um, Eastern Standard Time, and I think five in the morning in Australia. So Sasha has told me at times. I don't know. Um, how are we doing out there, folks? Um, the people listening in Radio Land, for them it's Tuesday. For us, it's fine. Mo- it's a Monday. It's a Monday. I'm feeling hype. I expected. I, I I did some important work today, and I expected them to hate it, and they didn't hate it. They just only hated it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> which is like um, you know, which is a real bonus, man. We'll take that as a win, my friends. We take that as a win. Um, how we doing? Let's catch up with the chat. We've got um, uh, we've got corporate alligator, the bridge, Nuriatam, Chusky Trusky, Min, Gandalf, JC. Oh my God! How many? How much coolness can we can we fit in in one chat? Did I say Chusky Trusky? I did. Yeah. Everybody's here. The gang's all here. Close the doors. Well, just be, pay attention for Ravdos. When Ravdos waves, let him on in. But no one else. <laughs> um, how we doing? I'm hype, man. I'm, uh, I've had a busy but good day today, and I'm hype. I'm ready for the show, guys. I'm ready to hang out a little bit. Um, what's been going on? Well, let me tell you what's going to come up in today's show first. Why don't we do that, ladies and gentlemen? I have two delectable news bits coming up in the second half of the show for uh, complete the news. We're going to go to China and see some habits among young people, and um, we're going to talk about a Maryland uh, Maryland restaurant. That just will not close. The thing will not close ever. Um, and then, um, and then, in a hundred humans, we're going to take a look at grown-up sleeping habits. Uh, what? <laughs> That's in the second half. Don't get too hype. First of all, we um, uh, we're going to um, we're going to take a look at an unpopular opinion and a good one today. Actually, an unpopular one today. Hallelujah! I mean, <laughs> my my opinions have been too popular lately. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's true. And today was, hang on, wait, was it unpopular? Let me, I'm, I'm saying this. False. Yes. Okay. Official. Unpopular. <laughs> At least on Twitter. On um, Instagram is the other way around. What's that? On Instagram is the other way around. Ah, really? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe we should argue this from the center then. I, I, I do actually believe my weird opinion today but before we get to that let's do this you're here i'm here lady boss here let's figure out what's been going on in the world today actually first let me say hello to the good people in in chat the um nuria tam says good vibes for a monday man i'm i'm, I'm all about them good vibes on a monday let me tell you just get for sure but it's too crappy to waste time on it just he's there talking about my pre-stream music <laughs> it's um it's especially bad it's like, imagine imagine what an elevator sounds like in the worst future timeline. That's what my music sounds like. It's like elevator music in the in the next century. <laughs> it's awful. It sounds like it sounds like two transformers having sex, basically. That's the sound. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um means here in other news, a Dutch politician un un politico holandés. Right, Lady Bo? Right. Right, Lady Bo, right? Nivelato. <laughs> a Dutch politician who has become infamous for being anti-vax and supporting Russia. So he doesn't believe in vaccinations and he just, he loves him some Putin. He just, he just loves Putin. Um, has now openly said that he believes the world is being controlled by lizards. Lagartos, lizard people. Right? You know, there was a famous British, um, David Icke. Have you guys ever heard of David Icke? He was a d- normal daytime TV presenter. And then f- he just fell into the world of conspiracy theories. And he he too is a proponent of lizard people controlling the earth. Yeah, 
There you go. Go figure. Um, Gandalf says, meetings suck. They do indeed, Gandalf. Let me tell you something. I was in a meeting. I was in an hour and a half meeting. The first 10 minutes <laughs> had something to do with me. And the rest of it was just like listening to some boring podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, it just so happens to be Monday. Exactly. Um, uh, that was from the bridge. Um, Jesse says, lizards are cool. Maybe we should be led by lizards. Maybe we're thinking about this all wrong, guys. Uh, Gandalf, meetings set up meetings that should be in an email. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I get some of that, too. Hey, hey, lady bosses, Min, take a breath. You're with the fam now. That's it. She's Yay. with family now. Um, I saw the video with the scooter. Yeah, there is a longer version of that, Nuria Tam. Oh, there's a longer version for my Patreon peeps. Um, uh, a fully edited um, uh, s- snapshot of that afternoon where we went out for tacos and um, scooter and um, an ice cream. Mm. It came out nice, the video, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't follow me on Patreon. No. No. Just saying. She doesn't, you know. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> now that I'm working. <laughs> now that she's earning money. Maybe. Doesn't even support me on Patreon. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, sweetheart. That's it. That's me. That's Brub on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, do not adjust your TV set. Yeah, that's right. Guys, you can actually watch the show live, as the bridge says, with a fresh little design going on. I hope you guys like it. Um, uh, a little more transparent, a little bit easier to, to see what's going on. Um, a little hate is always great, says, uh, <laughs> says Gandalf. You've been whizzing around on your patinette. Eh? I have. I have, and apparently I pronounce patinette like a five-year-old child, someone told me today. <laughs> patinette, it shouldn't sound that cute. Maybe it is cute. You know, does it, does it sound weird? Do I look sound like a child when I say patinette? It, it, it sounds cute, yeah. <laughs> I want to sound like an hombre. Like when you say toma. Un hombre con bigote. <laughs> 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 a man with a mustache. How would a mustachioed man say it in Spanish? Patinete. 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 No. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard the elevator version of Beat It. They could have waited till it until I was dead, says um, Gandalf. There's a conspiracy that King Charles is a lizard. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? You know what I mean? Maybe he's not a lizard, but you know royal family tend to do, you know. I'm just going to say Targaryens. In Game of Thrones, you can fill in the gaps yourself. Whether that ends up bringing in lizard genes into the... I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm but a humble, bald idiot, let me tell you. Um, I've offered to pay Lady Bo, but Rob would not let me. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> On that's Patreon. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you uh, both ride nice and safe? We did, Chusky. And I've been looking into getting stabilizers for my... Um, uh, for my scooter and Min says Robbie's a little cutie you rock Min let's look at what's happening in the world let's look at what happening, what's happening in the world I've got three pieces of news here do you want to know about Kanye West Kanye West the um, uh, yeah yeah I know or or um, BTS the K-pop ba- everyone's favourite K-pop band <laughs> or do you want to hear about Liz Truss yeah you, they're all equally as it's a rogues gallery today <laughs> It's a rogues gallery. Let me tell you about Liz Trust. You too. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. So Liz Trust, um, uh, in the news for the weirdest reason today. Um, the day, okay. I'm not talking about the Guardian or the Times, right? I'm talking about the Daily Star. It's not known for being a paragon of journalistic integrity. It's not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you and say that. But they did release, they did release a tweet that went super viral. And it's hilarious. Will <laughs> Will Liz Truss last longer than a lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> so a, a, a fresh bought lettuce will Liz Truss's future as a Prime Minister of England last longer than the lettuce one? Um, uh, and it has been, um, uh, yeah, it's gone quite viral. It's hilarious. Um, uh, this, uh, let's see. This is a comment. Uh, this is a. An article by StraitsTimes.com. Uh, a British newspaper on Friday pitted Miss Liz Truss in a race against a lettuce, asking readers if they thought the under fire, 
means uh, under fire means that she's being criticised heavily. The under fire prime minister would lose her job before the vegetable decayed. <laughs> I'm interested in your opinions on this. I think she won't lose her job. Look at how long British people put up with Boris Johnson. Did you know there's actually um, a, there's actually a um, a petition out now? Bring Boris back. Oh my! God. Oh, exactly. Liz Truss is so bad. There is a petition to bring Boris back. It's had over ten thousand signatures already. Tremendo. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I. Yeah, I don't think she's going to lose her job. I think Liz beats the lettuce here. What do you think, Lady Bob? I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. I mean, the British people. You know what I mean? They'll just stiff up a lip that thing until. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, the, a column published this week. Like this is not the only. Pe- the, she's not the only. Pe- um, or sorry, should I say? The Daily Star is not the only publication talking about or comparing Liz to a lettuce. Um, uh, the Economist um, uh, titled a, an article on a, the iceberg lady. Um, uh, and the magazine described Mistrust as having the shelf life of a lettuce. So I think what the Daily Star has done here, they've just kind of ripped off in a much funnier way, The Economist. Yeah. Liz Truss, there you go. Is she, will she survive longer than a lettuce? I will let you know. I don't have a lettuce to, to measure, but I'm sure the Daily Star will keep us up to date. Um, it's not Kanye West. He changed his name to Ye. That's a tr- true story, Corporate Alligator. Bring Tony Blair back. Wrong party. But is, they're all the same party, aren't they? Corporate Alligator. Um, how would uh, Ombre say patinette? Harley Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> that gets the Probo stamp of approval. Yeah, you know, you can't argue with that logic. It's a true story. Um, British people are very durable to bad leaders, apparently. But Liz is extraordinarily incompetent. Dude, she fired a new chancellor after, th- was it 38 days? It was here in the article, but, I've, um, uh, but I can't find it. Um, uh, uh, Kwasi... Oh, God, I can't even remember his name. Kwasi um, Kwarteng or something like that. After his mini budget that basically destroyed the economy. So she, her chancellor lasted 38 days. I mean, this is not... This is not planning, people. This is not planning what's going on. We're seeing the downfall... The second downfall of the British entry commas, in inverted commas, empire. It's weird, man. It's weird what, what's happening in the world. Um, they're all the same deep down. Exactly, corporate alligator. Darius over 9,000. I crashed my Harley yesterday. Darius, hope you're safe and sound, buddy. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. And what else is happening in the world? Well, let's go. But let's talk about Kanye since he was, um, he was mentioned there. Kanye has had himself quite a bit of, of um, trouble of late. He's been, Again. he's been, Kanye's been a bad boy, friends. <laughs> Kanye's been a bad boy. What a surprise. Well, he's been saying some really anti Semitic, horrible crap. <laughs> he's been, he's been, he's been very bad boy on social media, which has led to his account being restricted on both Instagram and Twitter. I mean, this comes after a, like a ton of controversies. He was interviewed by Tucker Carlson from, Tucker Carlson is a troll from um, Fox News. And he, he said some, again, some wildly, wildly crappy stuff. Some really, really bad stuff. Um, uh, he, at Paris Fashion Week, he wore a White Lives Matter t-shirt. I think Kanye, I don't know what's going on with him, man. I mean, I know he's crazy. We all know Kanye's a little crazy. But this is a guy who's made some great music. What is going on with him? Carlson is a troll, one of the prominent figures, <laughs> says, um, uh, says Min. Ain't he always bad? He is always bad, Darius. He is always bad. But, I mean, when he started to get really vocally anti-Semitic. And, and, you know what I mean? I could forgive when he's just being an ass at award shows. But, I mean, he's gone a bit overboard now. Well, here's the thing. So, he's been his, his accounts have been restricted on Twitter and Instagram. And do you guys know Parler? Have you heard of the the social media site Parler? No. It is basically a social media site for a right wing or a right leaning social media site that um, 
poses itself as someone that that takes ha- is completely hands off about the things that are posted. So they don't interfere, they don't block people, they don't ban people, and it's become um, popular among the extreme right in the states. I mean, this is a site with a lot of um, controversies itself, right? It was um, uh, it was uh, Amazon kicked it off of their servers. Um, Google App Store and the Apple App Store have um, uh, have kicked it off of their their storefront. I mean, it's a site that has promoted violence um, against minorities and hate speech. Kanye's going to buy it. Oh, Kanye's going to buy himself Parler, isn't he, friends? He's going to buy Parler. <laughs> that was announced today. Do, can someone tell a rich person that they don't? Everybody doesn't need to own a social network. <laughs> Not everybody. You can just. Try opening an account on <laughs> on what? You know what I mean? I don't understand. Why is everybody buying like Elon Musk, Kanye, dude? Um, let's see. Um, might not have taken his medicine. I think he has confirmed mental issue. Right? He does have a conf- well. He does have a mental issue. He does. But I mean, even a mental issue. I mean, you hold the have the responsibility to to take your medication. And uh, you know, and not to be uh, not to be hateful. I mean, Kanye was actually invited on a podcast, and the podcast is run by a bunch of friends of his. And the interview, according to them, was unairable. They had to scrap the whole show because after editing it, editing the show was, down, beep, beep, beep. Yeah, <laughs> after editing the show down, taking all the hate speech out of it, there wasn't enough to make an episode. Yeah. I mean, Kanye's Kanye's, um, uh, falling down a deep, dark hole right now. I mean, God bless him. I hope he gets help and he gets well. But geez louise, I mean, things um, things are looking quite dark. He once said that he will rule the world, says Corporate Alligator. I mean, he's not going to do it on Parler, is he? He's not going to do it on Parler. Um, Parler, so you know, has 11 million downloads. So 11 million people have it on their phone. It has... But it has only 40,000 active viewers or active users per day. To give you an idea of what 40,000 active users are, Twitter has 237 million active users a day. 237 million. So Parler has 0.016% of the active users of Twitter. Can you, for 200 bucks, you can buy yourself 40,000 Instagram followers. Just open up a new account, my dude. <laughs> and take it easy on the hate speech, man. No one, no one digs that. No one digs that. Um, I can't believe you're not talking about Alex Jones being fined almost a million bucks. We did. We covered that. We covered that. Good for the families. Um, uh, good for the families that that's going to go to. Uh, Alex Jones and his... Alex Jones and his hate speech and his theories. He was responsible, or partly responsible, for pizza, Pizzagate as well, not only um, about the shooting. Um, I'm not following the Brit political scene too closely. This is from The Bridge. But it seems to me that Liz Truss will be a lady to keep an eye on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm going to be honest with you. When, when, when anyone famous is incompetent, that just means more material for my show. <laughs> so have I famous people have I rich people <laughs> didn't Kanye once say he would run for president he did it remains to be seen whether he will do it in um, 2024 the thing is I mean him, him and um, Donald Trump they're, they're like best buds yeah 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 he's a big Trump supporter so would he run against Trump but I mean Trump is saying he's gonna make a bid for 2024 let's see Um, Corporate Alligator, in response to Darius, says he did. He stood on a stage at one of his tours and for like 25 minutes and not a single word was said. He then said he will run for president or walk off. (laughs) Imagine going to see Kanye West's show and he just stands there for 25 minutes in silence. You know, I'll play Gold Digger. Shush. I'm about to make an announcement. But we want Gold Digger. Power. Give us power. Shush. (laughs) <laughs> wow, can you? You know what we should do? God damn it. I've spent so much time chatting. We should go to an unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion. All right, how does this work? Unpopular opinion. Very easy, guys. I post a, a weird brain fart of mine, uh, un pedo de cerebro, on my um, social media. That's Twitter, at P-R-O-B-O-H, or Instagram, at 
professional bohemian. Bohemio professional, but in English. But in English, wow, that's some mighty Spanglish there. Um, I, and today's brain fart was simply this. AI government would be better than human politi- um, politicians. So I am suggesting here that what we do as a society, we fire all politicians, all of them, indiscriminately, all of them, and replace government with, um, uh, with a resource management artificial intelligence. Basically a database with a brain. I don't think it's even going to be that... I don't think it'd even be that impossible. I'm pretty sure the technology already exists. Let's think about what a government actually does. It assigns resources, right? It assigns resources. Resources, nine times out of ten, meaning money. But, I mean, in, in other cases, um, uh, foreign trade, um, you know what I mean? Um, depending, on, um, depending on what the, the GDP is and whatnot. Um, I think an AI could do that. I think an AI would do a much better job than a human. An AI would be uncorruptible. The only way you could corrupt an AI is having a, having a human as being part of the equation. An AI isn't going to look after its own self-interest. You know what I mean? An AI is just going to resource um, or, or divide the resources equally um, weighed, or weighed among the people that really need them. We've no interest to to building airports for their for their contractor friends, which happened here in Spain. You know what I mean? With no kind of with no kind of self interest. You know what I mean? Under an AI, would that mini budget that destroyed the um, the British economy happen? I argue that not, my friends. I argue an AI would be would have been a much more responsible. Let's um, uh, let's let's see what um, people are saying. Um, Darius over 9,000. Damn, President Material. <laughs> this is Darius. <laughs> um, Gandalf. People are tired of being banned and having an opinion um, for having an opinion, so they start their own or buy it. That's true. B- like both Kanye and um, uh, and Elon. Uh, you know, I really want. I mean, Elon's never been banned. Is the thing. He's gotten into trouble because of his shilling Dogecoin. And waiting for the prices to go up because he's made a Twitter post and then selling. <laughs> he's got in trouble for that. Insider trading. Oh, he's not gotten in trouble for it, but he's definitely um, uh, he's definitely been um, under the eye because of it. Um, let's see. Chusky, let's give AI a chance and see if it does better than humans. Dude, exactly. I'm talking about a database here. You know what I mean? Okay. Infrastructure is X. Um, income is Y. Like, basically, that's what machines are good at, procedural number crunching. And we're giving it to the to basically a bunch of emotional monkeys who want to be rich and powerful. <laughs> Take it out of the hands of the emotional monkeys, give it to the hands of the, of the computers. I'm ready for my AI overlords to take over, man. You know what I mean? It would be so nice to have a pension. That's all I'm saying. It really would. <laughs> um, the bridge. You were going to say, Rob, it isn't going to be very different. No, no, I think it would be massively different having an AI um, AI leaders, <laughs> an AI leader. I don't even care. Um, can't wait for it to glitch and build f- five hundred lamps on the same street. But why would it glitch? I mean, we're asking. What we'd be doing is asking a computer to do exactly what it's good at: manage resources. You know, manage. Re- that's essentially a government's job: manage resources. Um, Min, don't even have to design it wrongly for it to be corruptible. You can write programs to continuously feed it wrong information. Even if fun- it functions properly, the resulting outcome will be influenced. Uh, you know, you are projecting something that might not happen there, Min. You know what I mean? You're projecting that, you know, it'll be hacked. Imagine if it was an off-grid system, not connected to the internet. I'm not saying it should be something, you know, that foreign powers can influence. You know what I mean? If it was if it wasn't connected, it was keep kept in a little room, just a little old Apple Macintosh running its government program. <laughs> Dude, it cannot do worse than current politicians. You know what I mean? We'd have to pay it wages. Imagine how much money the every country would save not paying politicians. Here in Spain, you're a politician for two minutes, you've got a lifetime wage. Let that sink in. You're a politician for a day. You get to claim a, a salary for the rest of your life. Yeah. Dude, 
Yeah, I, I'm, you, what do you pay? What do you pay a, a computer? <laughs> Electricity. Don't. Don't. I'm. I'm. Imag- I don't know computers. I don't know AI. But I'm imagining you could probably run it off of something like a calculator. <laughs> um, AI would run an antivirus program, and all the humans would be dead. <laughs> this Gandalf. Just gay. Rich people will not like the idea. Exactly. You can't convince someone of something when their when their salary pay, uh, depends on it. But the humans are doing a terrible job, man. Humans are doing a terrible job. So, friends, I'm going to post a poll in the chat. You are going to decide, not me. You are going to decide. Should um, we disband government and put an AI in its place? That's what I think we should do, because humans are rubbish. All right, friends, I'm going to put a poll in the chat. Please vote on it. Friends, there's a lot of things you could be doing today. Instead of doing those things, you've decided to spend some time with me, and it means the absolute um, world, folks. Thank you for dropping in on this Monday evening, Tuesday morning for my radio fans, for my uh, podcast people hovering above us wherever you are. Thank you for being here. See you in a few minutes. Hey, guys, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash professional bohemian. There you'll find VODs of the episodes as they are recorded live, blogs, vlogs, and behind-the-scenes content. If you'd like to watch the show live, you can do so on twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian, and you can participate in the polls we use in the show on Instagram at professional bohemian or Twitter at probo, P-R-O-B-O-H. Okay, on with the show. The Bravo Show! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in, well, what have you missed? We spoke about um, Kanye West um, flying off the deep end. He's um, he started saying some really dangerous anti-Semitic things. He's been um, uh, restricted on Twitter and on 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 um, uh, on Instagram, and because of that, today he announced, or Parler, I think, really announced it. That him, he's buying Parler, which is a right-wing... Um, well, I think it's fair to say it's an extreme right, because it's not fair to say everyone who um, who has right leanings is extreme. It's an extreme right um, social media platform. Weird. Why, are rich, why is every rich person buying a social media account, um, company? I have no idea. Um, and then we spoke about Liz Truss. Will Liz Truss, Liz Truss outlive a lettuce? <laughs> We're, Ladybo and I said no We're going to follow this story We need to figure out how long a lettuce lasts <laughs> Unrefrigerated Yes yeah, I don't know um, And then we moved into our unpopular opinion And that was Should um, uh, should we replace All government with a resource Management AI An artificial intelligence To take care of the work Because humans are bad at it That was the unpopular opinion Um, Obviously, I believe it to be true. Let's see what um, everybody else is saying. Um, Let's see. Where were we? Um, Min says... I know, yeah. Okay, Gandalf. Gandalf says, AI does not care about your needs. It cares only about what is logical and wiping out whole groups of people that it considers non-productive. Here's an idea. Like, government... Most governments... Most democratic governments agree that we can't... Like, genocide is bad. <laughs> Can that not be one of the rules it has to follow? Can we not program it with an anti-genocide rule? You know what I mean? We're assuming here that the robot has full control. I don't believe the robot should have full control. I mean, it should have, it should have, um, you know, certain paradigms it has to follow. You know what I mean? Society, this is where society wants to look. These are the resources. These are the people that need the resources. Provide the people the resources they need. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, laws, yeah. I mean, uh, this is the thing, you see. Creating laws, another function of government. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, you know, Gandalf, that's, a f- that's you know, a fair point. But, but, I still think AI would do a much better job. Look, the Asimov's three rules, right? You know, it would have to follow that. It can't endanger another human. Or endanger a human above its own self-interest. Uh, Min says, if it was possible to eliminate human influence completely, this would probably be a de- decent solution. But that isn't possible. A government where AI is helping humanity, then it could improve our current situations. 
But if disconnect, if it's disconnected from everything, how's it going to be aware of the current situation? You guys picking holes in my argument, I do not approve. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And this is going to get um, well. Let's give give um, uh, give Min a Probo approved. Probo approved. Because there's some salient points there. Yeah. And Chusky says something which I think is is just brilliant. Would AI be able to decide emotional rules like abort or youth, like abortion or euthanasia? Yeah. You see, then we um, then we rely on the humans programming and that that flawed humans logic. Yeah. Yeah, you're starting to sell me. I may, maybe I should have, should have voted false. <laughs> Let's get Chusky Chusky uh, a Probo approved. That gets the Probo <laughs> stamp of approval. Corporate Alligator says, I'm moving to Spain. Ah, life's good here, man. Life's good. I mean, hey, Spain's silly salary rules have nothing to do with efficient government. Well, I mean, look, we have there are more politicians in Spain, which is... You know, a little bit smaller than Texas. There are more politicians in Spain than there are in America. <laughs> America's a big country. Just saying. Just saying. Gandalf, in my opinion, when AI takes over, it's a matter of time before humans are extinct. <laughs> this could be true. Look, I've seen Terminator. I've seen Terminator. I'm just not convinced leaving things as they are is going <laughs> to... We won't get killed by robots. Probably by viruses or the planet shaking us off like a dog does fleas you know um min i don't think anybody will disagree with the fact that humans are inefficient and their selfishness gets in the way of proper politics but i don't think it's i don't think it's black and white solution is the one all right all right well look i'm just helping you come up with ideas man i'm a futurist <laughs> think of me the modern day tony stark just helping humanity solve its problems i'm, I'm an ideas man <laughs> God, I hate that. That's the worst thing you can... Like, ideas men in companies are all, always the worst human beings. <laughs> I'm an ideas man. Nah. I just, I, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, because ideas men don't know how to actually do anything. They just know how to have ideas. Like, a random text generator can do that. Like, I remember meeting one, one dude in, an, in a company... And he was like the head of our research and development. And he's like, my job is to come up with ideas. I'm like, okay, well, what are your actual, what are your actual hard skills? What do you mean? Because at that time he was kind of leading a media department. I'm like, well, what do you, do you, do you, do you, what cameras do you use? You know, how long does it take you? How long would it take you to edit a thing? He, no, he had no clue. He didn't know anything about anything, making anything. Like, what makes an architect great is not that they can draw a beautiful building. It's that they know the tensile strength of a brick, right? That's what makes an architect great. Can, they can take a project from beginning to end. And ideas, men, are nothing but beginning, and it sucks. There you go. That's soft just, skills? Yeah. Only? But, only soft skills, and not that many of them. Ideas. Come on, my dog has ideas. You know what I mean? I'm not going to hire him into my company. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> um, Anti-genocide rule sounds like an emotional monkey brain talking. <laughs> what, if, what if it's economically more viable and better to sustain the population in the future? Yeah, we may find ourselves with a Logan's Run type situation, right? The computer may kill us off when we're not on a, a productive age. Jareum, how could we be sure that nobody is behind the AI? I guess we never could be. You guys are selling me that I that my idea is bad. Futuristic Rob ha already has the dome head of an android. True story. I'm ready for my robot overlords. How are you doing, Emily? Um, back from the break late. No worries, Gandalf. All right. You know what we should do? We should go to 100 humans. Oh, my God, friends. A long walk today. work today. Across snow-cut mountains and through river valleys. And on that walk, I encountered a hundred humans. And I asked them this question. To name something grown-ups, adults, adultos. Name something grown-ups sleep with in order to feel secure. You know, like a baby would have, you know, a baby, would, a child would sleep with something to feel secure. What, what's the grown-up version of those things? I asked them that question. I got a ton of answers. I have the seven most popular here. Your job in the chat 
is to identify those top seven answers. Um, let's see. Let's wrap up the. Um, uh, <laughs> let's wrap up the. The unpopular opinion. Thank you, Gandalf, and hello. Um, Emily, we're in 100 humans. Not a bad idea. Dogs are better than humans. True story. Corporate alligator, that's a fact. Can we get Probo approved? Probo approved. Dogs are better than humans in every single way. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. A body pillow. A body pillow, says Emily. A body pillow. That's a big pillow around the size of a body. Okay. okay. <laughs> Most unnecessary explanation. I guessed that, but thank you. <laughs> okay. you're, you're welcome. I'm here to explain the things that don't need explaining. <laughs> Body pillow, is it there? You know what? I'm going to give Emily this one. Give it. Give, let's give the points. They did say the hundred humans did say extra pillows. They did say extra pillows. Ah, okay. Extra pillow, body pillow, same. You know, I sleep with a body pillow. With Well, with an extra pillow that I hug. And it drives Lady Bo up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> true story. True story. It's true. <laughs> Worst boyfriend ever. <laughs> um, it's there. It's in second place with 19 of 100 humans saying extra pillows. Min says a teddy, a teddy bear. A teddy bear. What do you say that in Spanish? Peluche. Un osito de peluche. Un osito de peluche. It's there, well done. Um, a stuffed animal. A stuffed animal. I assume when it says stuffed animal, it means a teddy bear, not a gross taxidermy <laughs> weird thing, right? <laughs> that would be creepy. That's not helping me sleep. The dead <laughs> eyes of a squirrel staring at me. Um, a stuffed animal is there. 14 of 100 humans said a stuffed animal. Yeah. It's in third place. Well done. All right, that was Min. Um, Emily, locked doors. A grown-up would sleep with locked doors. <laughs> Be uncomfortable. Is it there? No, it's not. I, I get you, though. You'd lock your doors to feel more comfortable. I get it. Chusky says, humanity will go extinct sooner or later. So, meanwhile, let's get our scooters and go for ice cream. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 it was fun. It was a fun little ride, man. Let's see. Um, uh, security system, says Emily. Would you sleep with a security system to feel secure? No. Sorry. It's not there. Um, Jareom says, a mobile phone. A mobile. You guys are sleeping with some weird bleep. <laughs> you go hug my mobile phone. Good night, Motorola. <laughs> <laughs> is mobile phone there it's not it's not all right let's continue um a partner says min a partner it's there oh min min's on fire two two to min so far two to min one to emily killing it um so spouse is there 39 of 100 humans. You're in first place, Min. Well done. I mean, the first person to say a partner, spouse, something like that. Well done. Gandalf says a gun. A gun. Something grown-ups or adults sleep with to feel secure. A gun. It's there. Dude, I butt dial people just putting my phone in my pocket. Like, I would never carry a gun. I would shoot my junk off quicker than uh, quicker than anything. I'd definitely not sleep with one. <laughs> I'd no, end up shoot, you. shooting you and the dogs in my I sleep. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> where does one get a gun? <laughs> All right, where are we? Um, a gun, yeah, well done. It's there. It's in um, sixth place with three of a hundred humans saying a gun. Emily, a dog. Sleep with a dog. To feel secure. Oh, dude, I used to sleep with Summer all the time when she was little and fat. She's not fat anymore. Lady Bo's put her on a diet. But she used to be like a little sausage, a little warm little sausage. Oh. She's still warm. She's still warm, but she's not as warm as she was. Yes. Yeah, she used to be like a radiator. It was awesome. <laughs> Just in the winter, in the summer, she had to sleep on the floor. <laughs> is, a, is, a go is a dog, sorry, or a pet there? Yes, it is. Ooh, Emily, with a second correct guess. Um, pet is there with two of 100 humans. It's in seventh place. Well done. 
All right, let's continue. Lady Boss said a pillow. We've had that one. A night light, says Min. A night light. That, Lady Boss, is a light specifically <laughs> for the night time. A night light. Thank you. No, I, no worries. I didn't think I could <laughs> sleep without your explanation. Thank you. Well, yeah, well, it just takes all doubt away, doesn't it? <laughs> Another unnecessary explanation. Um, a night light. Is it there? Yes, it is. This is this is Min's round, man. Nightlight is there. It's in fifth place with eight of a hundred humans saying nightlight. You guys, uh, you only have one more to get, I believe. Um, Min says emergency chocolate cake. I'm not the only one. Then he says a weapon in the cabinet next to the bed. <laughs> a noise machine says Emily. Phone says Nuria Tam. Closed door. Um, a small light, we kind of had that night light. None of those are there, sadly. None of those are there. And, Ch- and Jariam says pyjamas. Let's get a boah, boah, boah. None of those are there, but Corporate Alligator said something interesting. He said, a blankie. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a childlike way of saying blanket. Okay, a blankie, a blanket. A blanket. Is it there? Yes, it is. The fourth most popular answer with 10 of 100 humans saying a blanket. You did it, guys. No clues today. Well done to you. Oh, my God. Let's give him a round of applause. These guys are killing it. Well, let's go through the list. In position number seven, we had a pet. You'd feel with, you'd sleep with a pet as an adult in a, as a way to feel secure, to feel safe, a pet. It's there in seventh place with two of 100 humans. In position number six, we had a gun. A grown-up or an adult may sleep with a gun to feel secure. In position number five was a night light, which we learned today, all of us. It's a light for the the evening. (laughs) In position number four was blanket, with 10 of 100 humans saying blanket. In position number three was um, uh, was a stuffed animal, like an oso peluche, a teddy bear. In position number two was extra pillow or uh, a body pillow, which is a pillow approximately the size of a body. <laughs> <laughs> and in position number one um, was spouse or partner. Congratulations to Min for guessing that one. <laughs> Let's pick up some of their comments. I love my body pillows. They are a substitute for stuffed animal. Yeah, dude. Hey, man, I'm with you. I once fell asleep with a burrito in my hand, so I'd say food, says Copper <laughs> Alligator. Um, I love sleeping next to my taxidermied alligator. Feels very safe, says Min. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking a little out of the box, says Emily. You did well there, Emily. You got a ton of them. Um, um, Texans Unite, says um, Gandalf. I think that's in, um, uh, in response to the gun being there. Um, though I live in North Carolina. My grandfather, this is from Emily, used to sleep with a loaded gun, not on safety, on his nightstand. I wouldn't, like, imagine trying to, you put your, putting your alarm on snooze and you shoot yourself in the arm. Come on. <laughs> I can definitely see that happening to me. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I'm not responsible enough to be around a gun. <laughs> he would tell us that, um, that if he called out, we had better answer or he'd shoot us. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Um, all right, those hundred humans are weirdos. A blanket in the summer, says Trusky. Those hundred humans are weirdos. <laughs> yeah, and stupid. A blanket to feel secure? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody knows if you hide under a blanket, the monsters can't get you. Exactly. That's a fact. That's a, fa- that's a hashtag <laughs> fact. Um, and Jariam says, what about a stuffed partner? <laughs> <laughs> Stuffed with stuffing or, or air, who knows? Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go to complete the news. Okay, complete the news. Um, I give you a headline with some important information missing, um, and you, with the options I provide, complete the news. If you're one of the people watching the stream and you're nervous about um, typing, don't worry, this is your moment. All you have to write is A, B, or C. No spoilers if you know the actual piece of news. Let's get into it. We're going to go to, to China for this first one. Um, we're going to go to China for this first one. Um, and this is about China's youth. China's younger generation 
is blank in a growing trend. En un tendencia creciendo. Right. Creciente. Ah, creciente. I'm like, where's my nivel? <laughs> yeah, China's yeah. younger generation is blank in a growing trend. Is it A, taking robot dogs out for walks? Is it B, getting married online? Or is it C, dating artificial intelligence partners? China's younger generation is blank in a growing trend. Is it A, taking robot, walk, uh, robot dogs out for walks? Is it B, getting married online? Or is it C, dating AI partners? Would you ever date an AI? No. No, me neither. Not enough squishy parts. <laughs> It's a true story. <laughs> wow, but everyone seems to be saying C today. Um, I will salute Jareon for being the only person to say getting married online. I salute you, sir. And I'll salute you, Lady Bo, for being the only person saying taking a robot dog out for a walk. Let's get um, a drum roll. China's younger generation is... Taking robot dogs out on walks in a growing trend. I win. I win. I love it when I get, I love it when I fool you all. Honestly, I sleep better at night. <laughs> you get these wrong. Um, it was taking robot dogs out for walk walks. Um, yeah, this is apparently a trend that is um, uh, that is happening among young Chinese people. Um, Post pandemic, these they've got dogs that are inspired by the Boston Dynamics dogs. Remember, they came up in the news mm -hmm. um, in a previous show where yeah, they yeah. said they'd never weaponize their robot dogs. Well, chi um, Chinese locally made versions of these dogs um, are the new are the new fad pet among young people in China. Apparently, that piece of news is from News 18. Um, uh, you can find that that was posted. Today, oh no, October 8th. Oh my god, an old piece of news. I feel bad, It feels bad, man. All right, next piece of news. We're going to um, a restaurant. We're going to a restaurant in Maryland. All right, we're going to a restaurant in Maryland. But what happened at this restaurant? What happened at this restaurant? Crowded Maryland restaurant stays open after blank hmm a restaurant in maryland in the united states of america crowded maryland restaurant stays open after blank hmm. is it a a sewer explodes into the bathroom is it b a chef severs his finger And it falls into the soup. Well, severs his finger into the soup. To sever is to cut off. All right. Or is it C? A customer died in the bathroom. Crowded Maryland restaurant stays open after blank. A. Sewer explodes into the bathroom. I think I've been to that restaurant. <laughs> um, uh, B. A chef severs his finger into the soup. Or is it C, that a customer dies in the restroom? Hmm. Of those three scenarios, which which would you be? Which would you prefer? I think the first one. The first one, that the sewer explodes in the bathroom. Or the last one, maybe. <laughs> that someone dies in the bathroom, you monster! No, I'm joking. Uh. I mean, yeah. But they stayed open. And you? Me? Yeah, definitely the, the last one. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would I, Look, if someone died in a restaurant at my table, I would keep eating. It's not going to stop me. No, no way. Uh, no, maybe around dessert time, I would notify the wait staff. <laughs> Excuse me, I think this person's dead. Can I please have my pudding now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, we have, I think C is in the lead. We've got three, four Cs couple of Bs, only one A. I salute you, um, Emily, for being the only person to say that the sewer exploded. 
crowded Maryland restaurant stays open after the sewer exploded into the bathroom. All right, let's see. Let's get a drum roll. A crowded Maryland restaurant stays open. Que se sigue abierto después after. A customer dies in the restaurant. Or in the restaurant. Would that bother you if the co- if the restaurant stayed open after someone died? It depends if it's the same day or yeah, yeah, the it was next. the same day. Dude, I would that wouldn't I wouldn't even spit out my food. <laughs> Does that make me evil? A little bit. I just love food. I know, but... It's not that I hate people, it's that I love food. You know? I don't know. Don't judge me, people. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm missing a ton of fun comments here. Hang on. A crowded restaurant in Prince George's County, Maryland, stayed open and continued to serve patrons after a customer attending a family reunion planning session died in the woman's bathrooms. Dude, imagine the queue. (laughs) I mean, normally the ladies' bathroom is, like... It always has a queue outside. Always. Imagine imagine if there's a dead person inside. Oh, my God. A family was dining at Jasper's restaurant in the the town of Upper Marlborough, Marlborough country, um, and had just paid the bill when one of them went to the restroom. One of the owners, Fred Rothendall, Rothendall, told NBC News, and the woman died. Sad. Sad story. Let's not make light of someone's death. But it wouldn't stop me from eating the food. I'm just telling you. (laughs) I know. They could they could have died at my table next to me and I would still keep eating. <laughs> Let's see what people are saying. I feel like people die all the time in restaurants. People just die sometimes. True story, man. Not enough not a good enough reason to um to stop your meal. <laughs> oh wow, I wouldn't be surprised it's Maryland, says um, Emily. Just get in the movie The Clerks, an old man dies in the bathroom with a porn magazine on his knees. <laughs> Um, I'm with Rob. Wouldn't bother me in the slightest. Not me neither. It's a part of life, friends. Um, Poor people, says Nuria. Men, as long as they didn't die with their face down in my soup. (laughs) (laughs) On that note, friends, guys, I've had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Probo Show. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. Friends, there's so many things, an infinite possibility of things you could have been doing today. And instead of doing those things, you decided to spend some time with me and friends. Let me tell you, it means the absolute world. Thank you so much for tuning in. and I'll see you next time. <laughs>